our backs, making sure that the head is supported, making sure that the back is supported and whatever else needs to be supported. Legs can be in constructive rest or recline bound angle, whichever you prefer. Taking your time. And as you come to your back, um, if you have not started your playlist, you can definitely start it now. And just allowing yourself to be fully supported. Inviting you to take a deep inhale in, exhale out. And on this Sunday afternoon, just allowing yourself just to be not being concerned with what may have occurred prior to and not being concerned about what will happen after this next hour, just being present at this moment, at this time, showing up for yourself. And not that what was happening before, what's going to happen after is good or bad, it just is. But most importantly, just being present now, being present with full compassion for yourself, no judgment, no analyzing. For these next few minutes of just, just resting in silence, just simply breathe, Kindred. Catch your breath. And as you breathe, wherever you may find yourself on today, allow the practice to meet you there. Wherever it may be. Octavia Rahim in her book called Gather, she talks about the fact that we are human and all our complexities and all of our nuances. And she says this, my mama and I have messes. We have loudness. We have quiet. We've showed out on each other. We've shown up for each other. 
We've tried to change each other. We've transformed together. We've disagreed on almost everything. We've agreed on what really matters. We've let it all hang out and held a lot of it in. We've let space come between us. We've given each other space. We've taken space away from our relationship. We've refused to listen. We've heard. We've turned away from each other. We've never turned our backs on each other. We've let each other fall. We've helped each other up every single time. I celebrate my mama's imperfections and my own. Love is patient, kind, and all sorts of things we have not always been. We are human. We love each other imperfectly. So as we know that we are so beautifully imperfect, might we show compassion to ourselves in knowing that. Six more breaths here. And these perhaps may have been the biggest breaths that you've had. Feeling the earth underneath you, that support. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, go ahead and bring your knees to your chest. And legs can be wide. You can cross your ankles if you like for more support. Maybe rocking side to side. Massaging that lower back. And when you're ready, taking your arms out to a T and go ahead and lower your knees over to the right for a spinal twist. And you may want to have a little bit of support underneath your knees or perhaps in between, placing a block or a book or whatever you may have, or a blanket, right in between your knees. And even support underneath that left shoulder. Breathing here. Noticing your breath. And as you breathe, taking in again the support beneath you. Knowing that ultimately you are fully supported and you are fully held, even if it may not seem. And even in all of our messes, all of our complexities, all of our nuances, a 
there's beauty in your imperfections. There's beauty in your messes and complexities. Five more breaths here. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, bringing your knees back around to center. And go ahead and once you come back to center, go ahead and stretch out your legs long and your arms overhead like you're waking up in the morning. Maybe rotating your ankles, rotating your wrists opening up really wide your fingers and your toes, making room. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, grabbing your elbows on top and then moving your legs over to the right and your back over to the right for banana pose. Breathing here, stretching that left side of the body. Eight breaths here. Noticing the flow of breath of the side of your body. Ankles may be crossed or not. The invitation is yours. Breathing deeply. Three more breaths here. And when you're ready, slowly releasing, coming back to center, almost like you're waking up again. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, we'll take banana pose on the other side, shifting your back and your legs to the left side. Ankles may be crossed or not. Breathing here. In our nuances and complexities, this side may feel different. Don't try to analyze it. Don't try to figure it out. Just allow it to be. Allowing the practice to meet you where you're at. Six more breaths here.
And when you're ready, only when you're ready, coming back to center. Maybe stretching one more time, rotating those wrists, rotating the ankles. And eventually bringing our knees to our chest. Massaging that lower spine. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, taking your hands out to a T and allowing your knees and legs to fall to the left side or spinal twist on the left side. Breathing here. Again, allowing yourself to be supported as you need. Blanket where the knees rest on or in between. Maybe on that open shoulder. And we'll be here a good eight to 10 breaths. Breathing deeply here. Three more breaths here. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, just coming around to a fetal position and pause there. Noticing the support underneath you. Noticing your breath. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, just slowly rising up. And eventually we were going to be coming to a standing forward fold. So however you want to get there, just nice and easy. Taking your time. And having underneath your hands, either your hands can go towards the floor or they can be on top of blocks or books. Breathing here. Legs can be bent. Breathe. You may want to grab opposite elbows, letting your head hang down low.
just breathe. Opening up the back. Breathe. And when you're ready, inhale, coming to halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Do that a couple of more times. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And when you're ready, coming up to mountain pose. So we're going to flow a little bit. My favorite flow, moon salutation. Breathe here, standing in mountain pose, feet firmly planted on the earth. Feel that, this is not a passive pose at all. Standing in your power. And when you're ready, here we go. Hands overhead, palms touching. Exhale to the left. Inhale up. Exhale to the right. Inhale up. Going into goddess pose. Beautiful. Breathe here. Five point star. Opening up the heart, opening up the throat, even in our complexities, even in our nuances, the fact that we can open up, receive, and let go. Breathing here. Hinging at the hips, going into triangle pose. Hand can be on block, on the shin, on the knee or thigh, breathe here. And when you're ready, bringing that right hand down, going into a low lunge. Breathe here, or actually high lunge. Coming up into warrior one. Breathe. And when you're ready, warrior two. Goddess pose. And when you're ready, warrior two on the right. Raising up the hand to warrior one. And when you're ready, high lunge. Straighten out that right knee, going into triangle. And when you're ready, coming up to five point star, goddess pose. Coming back to mountain. Breathe. So we're gonna flow. We're gonna do two more rounds of that. And we're just gonna flow. You flow like you need to. I'm not gonna even call it. We're gonna flow to the sounds. So do what you do best. Be you. This is your practice. Here we go. One more, mountain pose, here we go. Hands overhead, palms touching.
see you. Coming back to mountain pose. Pause there. Beautiful. Breathe. Heart may be pounding. That's okay. Feeling connected to the earth. Maybe even swaying side to side on all four areas of your feet. Breathing here. Taking it all in. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, let's go into a little chair. Breathe. Breathe here. You're gonna feel that energy. Hands can be straight ahead or in triad or on your knee, on your hips. Breathing here. And when you're ready, go ahead and bow forward to a forward fold. Breathe here. And when you're ready, go ahead and bend that right knee, placing the hand on a block or a blanket, raising up that left hand for a twist. Breathing here. And when you're ready, go ahead and lower that left hand down. Coming back up into a chair. Maybe go down a little bit lower. Breathe here. Breathe. And when you're ready, go ahead for a forward fold. Breathe. And when you're ready, placing that left hand down, bending the left knee, raising the right arm. Breathe. And when you're ready, go ahead and lower that right hand down. And you are more than welcome to take a flow here, walking your hands forward or a downward facing dog, eventually we will end up on our bellies. Whatever is calling you. Breathing here. Coming to your belly. Hands can be stacked with the forehead on top or cheek to the mat. It does not matter. Whatever resonates with you. Breathe here. Noticing the rise and fall of your belly and your chest up against the earth. Nose, you're seeing the subtle movement of your thighs. Knowing that you're still fully supported and fully held. Whether it be on your back, whether it be on your side. Whether it be on your belly, all around, even in your complexities and nuances, even in all the messes and all of the stuff of life, you are fully held and you're fully supported. Breathe. Five more breaths here.
and when you're ready, only when you're ready, taking your arms out to a T. And slowly, with hips stacked and leg, leg stacked, just going over to the right. Stretching that shoulder, stretching that arm. Breathing here. Three more breaths here. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, coming back to center. And just pause here. And we're gonna take our hands and place them underneath our hips, actually right beside our hips. It should be alongside your body, your arms. And with ease and grace, slowly lift your upper body up off of the mat. Breathing here, I'm gonna go ahead and lower down. And when you're ready, adding the lower body, almost as if you're flying, the lotus pose. Go ahead and lift the upper and lower body with the big toes touching, almost as if you're taking flight. And breathe here. Breathe. Gaze should be right, looking down. And when you're ready, go ahead and lower down. Let's do that one more time at your timing. Lifting up the upper and lower body and simply breathe. And when you're done with this, go ahead and release. Breathing here. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, taking your hands out to a T again. And this time with the hips stacked, legs stacked, going to the opposite side, the left side. Allowing the practice to meet you wherever you may be. Breathing here. And when you're ready, go ahead and release. Pausing here. 
Noticing how your body feels, noticing how you feel. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, raising that right knee in line with your right hip for half frog. Breathing here. And the invitation is yours to stay right here or to extend that right leg. But again, it's an invitation, yours to choose. Noticing the flow of breath in that hip, in the thigh, the rise and fall of your stomach against the earth. Five more breaths here. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, taking that right leg back in line with your left leg, maybe shaking your hips side to side. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, taking that left knee in line with your left hip or half frog on the other side. Love is patient, kind, and all sorts of things we have not always been. We are human. We love each other imperfectly. The invitation is yours on this side as well. If you like to stay right here, certainly that is fine. Or if you like to extend that left leg, it's only an invitation. Most important invitation that you accept is one that honors whatever it is that you need at this moment, at this time.
Five more breaths here. When you're ready, only when you're ready, extending that left leg back with your right, maybe shaking your hips side to side, maybe even bending your knees and doing the windshield wiper, whatever it is that you need. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, with ease and grace, we will come to our backs. And if you have a pillow or a blanket to put underneath your lower back, just to raise it for a supported bridge. Taking your time. allowing yourself to be fully supported. So with the blanket underneath or the pillow underneath, taking your knees to constructive rest, soles of the feet on the mat, knees bent. And just pause here. Arms can be any variation that you like, whether it be on your stomach, Just breathing here, noticing your breath. Inhaling, stomach rises. Exhaling, sense of emptying out. Inhale, filling up. Exhale, releasing. Continue to breathe that deep, full breath for the next five or six breaths. And as you breathe, I invite you to either stay right here or extend one leg at a time, opening up the hip. And if you'd like to extend both legs at the same time, certainly the invitation is yours. But again, the most important invitation is that you accept and that you honor what it is that you need.
when you're ready, only when you're ready. I invite you to just slowly picking up your heels and taking your legs up or legs up the wall, fully supported. And just allow yourself to be supported by that blanket or that pillow underneath your lower back. Maybe rocking side to side, or even if you like to take a happy baby right here, that's absolutely fine. Or just simply bending your knees. Whatever it is that you need. Just breathe here. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, slowly release, bringing your heels back to, the soles of your feet back to your mat and gently lifting up that lower back. And I invite you to come into your final pose, the resting pose, whatever it is that you'd like, whether that be on your belly or on your side or on your back. You are worth your own attention. So please tend to yourself. Taking your time, getting whatever it is that you need to allow yourself to be fully at rest, fully at ease. And in this final pose, whether it be on your back, on your side, on your belly, or perhaps even seated, seated maybe against a wall, it matters not. Again, the invitation is that you accept and you honor what it is that you need. being fully present with no judgment, being fully present with all compassion for yourself. as you've settled into your resting pose. Allow your breath to wash over you like a cool wave. And in this wave washing over you, allowing this wave to fully embrace and feel you and nourish you. starting at the soles of your feet, knowing that you are deeply held and supported. And 
in from the soles of your feet to your ankles and your legs and knees, know that you are fully held and supported. from your knees to your thighs and hips, know that you are fully held and fully supported. And from your hips to the trunk of your body, the stomach, the back, the arms and hands, your heart. Know that you are fully held and supported. From the trunk of the body to your throat, to that of your voice, know that you are fully held and supported. And from that of your throat, your shoulders, the shoulders that we carry so much on, Know that you are fully held and supported. And from your shoulders and throat to that of your mouth, your cheeks, your eyes, Know that you are fully held and supported. And from that of your eyes to your eyebrow center, that of the third eye, that of wisdom, to the crown of your head, know that you are fully held and supported. Love is patient, kind, and all sorts of things we have not always been. We are human. We love each other imperfectly. Notice that you are breathing. Noticing the sounds around you.
noticing the sounds within the room. Noticing your body within the space. Noticing the support beneath you. Beginning to introduce deep inhales and exhales. Breathing deeply. And as you breathe, beginning to introduce whatever feels natural to your awakening, wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers, perhaps moving your head side to side. And when you're ready, just coming to one side or the other and pausing there, not rushing to get up. And just pause, taking in all the goodness that you've shown yourself for this last hour. The sense of caring and tending to yourself. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, you eventually all come to a seated position, taking your time. And when we get there, we're gonna take our hands and rub them together building up some heat. And once you build up that heat, place that anywhere on your body where you feel like you need just that sense of healing energy, healing love, healing care, whether that be on your stomach, on your heart, or on your knees, wherever that may be, and draw in that sense of love, that sense of compassion, that sense of care for yourself. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, placing one hand on top of the heart and the other, just breathe, allowing the heart to rise up into your palm. And feel that heartbeat. Gently tucking the chin. May you be happy and peaceful. May you be strong and healthy. May you be confident and courageous. May you be safe and protected. May you be at ease with yourself just as you are leaving nothing out. Thank you for this community practice. Thank you for each and every one of you showing up for yourself and showing up for each other. Namaste.